The Cuckoo by George Borrow Read for LibriVox.org by Justin Smith Abiding an appointment made, Upon the weed-grown steep I stayed, One morning mild when May was new, And fresh the down was fraught with dew. The meads were flowering, right the woods, The branches yielding thousand buds, My lips employed in song the while, On morphid of the merry smile. Twas then as round I cast my eye, With mighty wish the maid to spy, Though howsoe'er my sight I strained, No glimpse of morphid I obtained. I heard the cuckoo's voice arise, Singing the song which most I prize. To each bar true most sweet, I trow, His music on the mountain's brow. Therefore, as called by courtesy, I greeted him in poesy. Good day, dear cuckoo, with thy strain, A herald thou from heaven's domain. To us the tidings thou dost bear Of summer, blissful season fair. Of summer, which to greenwood shade Entices forth the bard and maid, Which decks the foliage, dents the grove, And through all nature breathes of love. O oh, dear to me that note of thine, It seasons love like choicest wine. Whilst doting fondness to chastise, What cutting taunt in cuckoo lies. But pretty bird, I pray declare, Where lingereth now my lady fair? O oh, poet, what delusion great Doth fill this year thy foolish pate? Tis harboring a useless pain One thought of her to entertain. With all her store of winning charms, She weds her to another's arms. Believe me when I say to thee, A mate of thine she may not be. Hush, hush, I'll not believe thy voice. Dare not defame my bosom's choice. That nymph, the fairest neath the sun, Has sworn an oath, a solemn one. She vowed by her baptismal rite, Beneath the bough one blessed night, Her hand my own in clasping hard, To live and die with me, her bard. The minister that mystic night was Madog Benfras, matchless white. Her suitors all may vainly sigh. How should she wed? Whom wed have I? Tis false, O bird, what thou dost state, and waste of time with thee to prate. Folly and drunkenness, tis plain, have got possession of thy brain. Hence with thy news and get thee cool. Thou art, I fear, a very fool. O daffid, who the fool but thou? Talking this guise beneath the bough, Another husband chooses she, Whose charms deceitful captured thee. The damsel of the neck of snow Is now another's wife, I trow. To love another's looks not well, The bough-bock owns the blooming bell. For what thou'st sung within the grove, With malice filled about my love, May days of winter come with speed, The summer and the sun recede, or frost upon the foliage fall, The woods and branches withering all. And thou with piercing cold be slain, Thou horrid bird of hateful strain. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. End of The Brother Avenged and Other Ballads by George Borrow.